Today I want to share with you 15 lessons that I learned from recording 365 videos in 365 days. Hey, welcome to the first video of 2019. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail. I'm on a mission to help women elevate their confidence and particularly creative entrepreneurs. Each one of us is more confident. We would go out there and share our gifts with the world to have more input, influence, and impact on the world around us. So if you want to elevate your business, personal, or creative confidence, make sure you subscribe to the channel. For the entire 2018, I set myself a challenge of filming 365 videos. I'll put a link to that playlist up here. You can go and watch them. And this is the very first video I am recording in 2019 and well and truly getting back into the groove of recording. Lesson number one is that year is a long time and you can achieve so much in one year if you just put your mind to it. Second lesson I learned, year is very short at the same time. And before you know it, your year will be over and will have wished that you had started that thing a year ago. So lesson number three is that an intentional action executed every day leads to an intentional outcome. And so that means you need to be building intentional habits. What are the habits that you are growing and developing, coming up every single day? Because it's the daily habits that's going to ultimately lead to your success. Lesson number four is to have a big vision, but focus on the now. So be guided by the end result that you want, but then detach from that end result and focus on what you are doing right now in this moment. Be guided by that big vision, but let go of it as well. Fifth lesson I learned about recording 365 videos is about self-integrity, sticking to your own word. I really do believe that that is the foundation of your self-confidence. If you say you're gonna do something, no matter who you say it to, maybe you just say it to yourself, but sticking to your word is what's going to build your confidence. Lesson number six is about being clear about your why, your reasoning for doing something. You've got to know what is the purpose behind it. When I started out on that 365 video mission, my, what I realized very early on is that it was a personal challenge to see if I could actually do it. If, to see if I set myself a challenge, would I finish the challenge? And that became my big strong why. So what is your reason for doing something? Seventh lesson I learned is that there will be tough days. There will be days when you want to give up. Whatever it is that you're working on, don't. That is why the previous point I mentioned about having your strong why becomes so important. Because if your why is strong enough, you'll get over that feeling of wanting to give up. Times will come, guaranteed. That is the way life is. And you are going to want to give up. But if you've got that strong why in place, that's gonna keep you on track. That's gonna keep you showing up day and the next day, even on those days when you don't feel like doing it anymore. The most beautiful gift that you can give yourself is sticking with it on those days when you don't feel like doing it because right there, you're strengthening your resilience. And when you strengthen your resilience, you strengthen your personal integrity and there you strengthen your confidence as a result. At the same time, you've got to be flexible. So lesson number eight is about being flexible with your vision. Having that vision and knowing what it is you want to achieve, but not being so rigid and stuck that you don't evolve as your journey evolves. You've got to be willing to change gears, to pivot, to look at it from a different angle when your perspective starts to change as you get further down your journey. So you've got to be able to be flexible for opportunities for growth. And maybe you're not seeing it the same way as when you started. More experience and more knowledge, you can make new decisions. The ninth lesson I learned from doing 365 videos is that video is fun. I was so averse to doing videos, which is part of why I set myself that challenge in the first place. But now I enjoy it so much, so much so that my husband and I have started our own little playlist. I'll link it up here. You can go check that out. For the fun of it, create videos together. I'm also incorporating video creation into my personal branding packages that I can help other brands build their video presence. I'll be doing more of these weekly vlogs and videos 
so watch out for that. Video is fun. Tenth lesson is that video is essential for entrepreneurs in this modern age. If you are working for yourself, particularly if you are a creative in the creative industry, you need to have a video presence in the online marketing world. Because you know what? That's how people connect with you. They connect with you so much more through video than any other medium. Your copy or your photos are all very important in your online presence, but video is where the real connection is made. The 11th lesson I learned is that consistency builds confidence. So the more consistent you are with mastering a particular skill or executing a, a particular task, the more confident you become at it. Practice makes perfect. In fact, practice makes confidence. That's what this message is all about. If you consistently show up, you become so much more confident. You are building your skill set. You are honing your craft. You are mastering a skill if you stick with it consistently. Twelfth lesson I learned from 365 videos is that you've got to keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Just keep it simple. And to give you an example, all 365 videos that I recorded last year, I recorded on my cell phone and I edited on my cell phone and I uploaded YouTube from my cell phone. I knew that if I wanted to stick with it, I needed to keep it simple. And if I overcomplicated it, I wouldn't get it done. Thirteenth lesson I learned is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Video doesn't have to be perfect. Done is better than perfect. You've heard that saying before and it is so true. And you don't have to have the fanciest camera, you don't have to have the fanciest lighting, you don't have to have the fanciest setup. You don't even need to put makeup on. It's shot without makeup and you know what? The world kept turning. Some days, between you and me, I didn't even have pants on when I recorded. Fourteenth lesson I learned from creating 365 videos is that filming in public is awkward, but it does get easier. Kinda. And here right now, I'm aware of people walking past. But a year ago, me would have pulled up into a pile of insecurity on the floor, in here recording out in public, having people look. But here I am, and it's so much easier. Still awkward, I'm still aware of everybody looking, but it's so much easier. So to try, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. And the 15th lesson I learned from recording 365 videos last year is that it's not about you, it's about the message. This was actually my 365th thought on confidence. Go back, I'll link it up here and you can go and watch that. It's not about you, it's about the message, it's about the impact that you're having, it's about the value that you are giving, it is about the people that you are helping and it's about the legacy that you're leaving behind. These videos will last forever and they are searchable forever and the value that you give can have impact on other people far beyond your existence. If technology continues the way it is, that is basically a time capsule. That value that you're giving, the people that you're helping, the, the content that you're creating is a time capsule that generations, hundreds of years from now, will benefit from. It's not about you. Get over yourself. It's about the message and the people that you're helping. I hope you enjoyed those 15 lessons. Let me know in the comments down below which one resonates most with you. I would love to hear from you. If today's video was valuable for you, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button, the little bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video and then go ahead and share this with a friend who maybe needs to hear about how video can help her. I sat down to do this recording in front of this wall but I got some photo bombers so I'm waiting patiently until they get their photo shoot done.